Today we will take up some questions in which we will uh, do the order of evaluation of the operators. In my last session I have taken up precedence of operators. So now this is in continuation of that. Let us see uh, some examples for this. Like uh, I will put the question here. Determine the order of evaluation of the following expressions. So here let us see how to apply that. Supposing I have something like this x plus y minus l uh, let us say divided by p. This is the expression which I have, right? x plus y minus l divided by p. Now, what are the operators we have here? Plus, minus and division. Uh, we know that this operator, this division has got a higher priority here and these two have got the same priority, right? So, now in this case, this expression which I have written here, this is x plus y minus l divided by t. So, uh, this part, this is l divided by t. This is the first one to be evaluated, right? Whatever is the result of this. So, now we will have x plus y minus the result of this. Let us say whatever is the result. I will put it as r is the result suppose of this, right? So, now this is, this operator is already done. Now, you have got plus and minus, right? So, plus and minus have got the same priority. So, now it will be in this order that is from left to right. First of all, it will be x plus y and whatever is the result of that, that minus the result of this L minus T like this, right? So, this is the order of evaluation here. First of all, this will be done, then this plus will be done, right? And then lastly, this minus will be done. Fine. Uh, now, I will take up one more question like this. Determine the order of evaluation again. Now, let us take up for some uh, logical operators. Let us say x or y and z. So, now here there are only two operators or and and, right? Now, and has got a higher priority and finally the second priority will be or. So, here this expression that is y and z, this is the first one to be executed. And after that, x or the result of this, right? So, that is the order. The order is like this, right? If you have relational operators and uh, logical operators both, let us see that. If you have something like this, x is greater than, let us say y, right? And z or k is greater than u. Suppose this is the expression you have. Now, what are the operators you have here? One greater than here and after that there are, there is this and sign, then or sign, then again there is a greater than. Now, First of all, these, this greater than signs have to be evaluated because the relational operators have got a higher priority than your logical operators. So, now in this case, there are two greater than signs. Obviously, both have the same priority, but the associativity is from left to right, right? So, this part that is x greater than y, right? This is going to be evaluated first, fine? And then this part, k greater than u, this is going to be evaluated 
as the second one right okay mm -hmm. now this is done and this is done now what are the operators left and and or which has got a higher priority this has got a higher priority so now this the result that you get here this and z this one this is the third thing to be done right and then finally whatever result you get here that along with this or or k greater than u that is already done right okay hmm. so the first thing is x greater than y second is k greater than u third is whatever is the result of x greater than y that and z and fourth is this is third this is third right okay hmm. and fourth is whatever is the result of x greater than y and z that result or k greater than u result so this is the order of evaluation of this expression in any of the expression where you have got a logical dot operator the suppose you have something like this x and and logical not and then y right so in this case the order of evaluation is not y will be done first this is the first one and then this result x and the result of that right okay now i'm going to uh, take up a question given the values of a b and c evaluate the following expression now the value the expression is given like this a greater than equal to b or not c is equal to equal to b and c <coughs> less than a this is the expression that we have and uh, the value of a b and c that we are going to take for this is a is equal to 10 <clears throat> b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 11 right okay now let's substitute the values here a greater than equal to b right okay so that is basically 10 greater than equal to 11 right this is inside this bracket and there is a not operator here after that you have the logical not uh, this is the or operator in between sorry and the logical not operator c equal to equal to b this is 11 equal to equal to 5 right and we have the AND operator after this and then you have C greater than A. So, 11 greater than 10. Fine. Now, you see 10 greater than equal to 11. That is what? That is false. Right? Or here you have got this bracket. 11 equal to equal to 5 is false. Not false is what? Not false is true. Right? Q and 11 greater than 10 is true. Fine. C, uh, sorry, it's uh, C less than A. I put it as greater than here. C less than A. It's 11 less than 10. Fine. So, 11 less than 10 is false. So, here you have a false. 
right so now you see first of all you have to do this part true and false true and false is false so now it becomes like this false a greater than equal to b again i have uh, done something wrong here it's a greater than equal to b here i have written 10 greater than equal to 11 this is not 11 this is a greater than equal to b this should have been 10 uh, greater than equal to 5 so in this case if 10 is greater than equal to 5 this is true this is not false this is true fine so here again this is true true or false true or false the final answer is true like this you will do this understood so now i'll explain this uh, let's just go through this once again a greater than equal to b these are the values which i have so 10 greater than equal to 5 or not c is equal to equal to b this is 11 equal to equal to 5 and c less than a that is 11 less than 10 10 greater than or equal to 5 is true or 11 equal to equal to 5 is false it's not equal so not false will become true and 11 less than 10 is again false 11 is not less than 10 right so now there are two operators here or operator and and logical or and logical and so logical and has got a higher priority so we put that true and false is false and then whatever is the result of this that is evaluated with this true or false so the answer is true like this right now uh, one small question another question which i will take up here is what will be the output you'll be getting questions uh, on this lesson as uh, find out the errors or predict the output uh, kind of questions in this lesson apart from uh, writing programs and all right so what will be the output of this code let's see this this is uh, you have int main the hash include statements i'm not put there hash include iostream.h you will have right int k is equal to Eight, right and then we write k is equal to plus plus k is equal to equal to 12 right and then we write c out k this is the coding and then finally you have this return 0 now if you look at this Initially, we have a variable k whose value is 8, whose value is 8, right? This is k. Now, here we are saying k is equal to plus plus k equal to equal to 12. This one, plus plus k equal to equal to 12 means we are incrementing k by 1, that is k becomes equal to 9. And this is being equated with this. This is an expression, logical expression. 9 equal to equal to 12. 9 is not equal to 12. So, this will, this will return a false. Right. Okay. Now, this basically comes to k is equal to false. k is equal to false. The value of false in C++ is represented as 1. The value of 2 is 0, value of false is 1. So, here what happens, this 1 goes into this k. So, when you say C out k, this is going to print the value 1. This will be the output of this program. 
the output of this program will be 1. The output is 1, right? This statement is where the actual thing is happening. There is an assignment operator here, k is equal to. Now, k is equal to what? k is equal to, here, this is a comparison operator, plus plus k equal to equal to 12. Plus plus k means this is incremented, k becomes 9, that's, that is equated with 12. It is equated with 12, so it is a logical expression which can give either a true or a false. It is not equal, so it will give a false value. So, false gets stored into k. So, the value of uh, false is 1. So, 1 gets stored into k. So, finally, when you print C out k, it gives the output as 1, right, okay. Now, <clears throat> one last question before we end this session. Determine the order of evaluation in this expression. Uh, we have something like this A and B or X greater than equal to y. Now, here again, uh, this greater than equal to, this is the first thing that will be done, right? So, this is the first one. And then, a and b, this is the second one, right? Whatever is the result of this and this, this or operator will come along with this, right? Okay. So, that is your third one, fine. Now, another expression, I will write here. A into B into C minus D divided by E into A, right? Now, what all operators do you have here? You have the multiplication operator, minus operator, I mean subtraction operator and division operator, right? Now, first of all, multiplication and division. They have got the higher priority, same priority, right? So, A into B, A into B will be done. Whatever is the result of that, that will be done with C, right? A into B into C, fine. After that, you have a minus operator here. So, now we will not do this. Now, the third one that will be done is this part. And what is the result of D divided by E? that will be multiplied by A, right, okay. Huh? So, 1, 2, 1 is A into B, A into B is done first, fine. Then, what is the result of this, that into C, this is the second one. Then, you have D divided by E and the result of this into A, that is the fourth one, fine. Now, whatever is the result of this, this part, okay, this part, minus the result of this part. So, that is the final step. This whole part minus this whole part. This is the last step that we have, right? So, this is the order of evaluation in this case. So, now we have seen uh, examples pertaining to order of evaluation uh, which is very important in this precedence of operators and order of evaluation for both uh, for all the operators like arithmetic, relational, logical operators and I showed you one question on predict the output. This is somewhat uh, different one. So, I hope you have understood all these things which we have done in this session. So, with this, I come to the end of this session. Bye.